Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne. I'm a fashion designer and a craft addict. Today we'll be making an off-shoulder high and low ball dress for a child. And if you're interested, stay till the end. If you haven't already, kindly like, share, subscribe, and hit your notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Now, without wasting much time, let's go right ahead to the tutorial. Welcome back. Now we'll be starting with this already drafted basic bodies for a child. At the top is my guideline, the neck, the show, um, armhole, shoulder slope, chest line, bust line, then the half length which is the waistline and one inch extra for seam allowance. So we'll be starting by taking the measurement of the bust. We are not starting from the top yet because it's an off shoulder dress so i'm taking the bust measurement the bust is 29 divided by 4 is 7.25 then i'm going ahead to take one inch extra for seam allowance for joining now on the half length which is the waistline i'll be taking marking the waist circumference divided by four the waist is 24 divided by four is six one inch for that and one inch for same allowance and i'll be extending that um waist measurements i'll be extending it down to the allowance now i'll be using my ruler to join the points together afterwards i'll just be marking the bust pan the child is not bust it's just a child but still i'll be adding that and i'll be needing the bust pan to do that the bust pan is 3.75 and i'm just marking it there and i'll go up to the bust line and mark 3.75 there as well the I'll, I'll extend it down to the allowance at the bottom now on the waistline i'm just marking half inch on both sides half inch on the allowance beneath then from the boss line i'll be coming down by one inch now using my ruler i'll just join the points together and extend it down to the allowance as well i did mention that the half length is 13 then i added one inch for joining now at the top i'll just be taking the measurement of where i want the off shoulder to to sit i've not drawn my armhole curve yet but i'm just marking where i want the off shoulder to sit and it's 2.5 it depends on your preference but here i'm using 2.5 and from the bust line i'm going up by one inch because i don't want it to drop so much so using my armhole curve i'm just joining the two points together now i'll be marking my i'll be marking the mid armhole which is um three and i'm going in by half inch so i'll use my armhole curve to join from the top of the shoulder to the midpoint then the armhole line so i'll just use my armhole curve to join the three points together now one of the measurements that you'll be needing is the off shoulder circumference that is where your off shoulder will be sitting you will just use your tape rule to take it round because you'll be needing that measurement to attach the sleeve so right now i'm just reducing the width by one you can use one inch you can use one and a half but i'm using one and a half here then i'll join it i'll redraw my armhole curve and i'm doing this so that there will be ease underneath the armhole it's just for ease for easy movement of the arm now after doing that i'll go ahead and um, cut now for the back i'm just taking the same measurement i did for the front the neck width 
shoulder width then i'm going down by one inch for the shoulder slope using my ruler i'll just join that to my neck width this is just like the basic bodies pattern going down i'm taking my neck depth which won't be using at the end of the day it's still the same off shoulder so i'm just doing all that for for the purpose of this tutorial now i'm going ahead to take the armhole the armhole depth which is um six inches i'm sorry you couldn't see that the camera shifted and i didn't know so i'm just using my ruler to join the points together and i'll extend it that will be my chest line so i'm just marking the seven inch shoulder measurement then i'll extend it outwards that is my chest line now for the bust line the bust line is at 7.5 and that's what i'm marking there you don't necessarily have to mark the bust line but because the that is all the way up to the chest line which is the same as the armhole line so right now i'm just extending that um, chest line because that's where i'll be marking the the dots now i'm just taking the midpoint of the armhole line which is three and i'll be going in by 0 0.25 unlike the front the front went in by um, 0.5 that is half inch so now i'm using my armhole curve to join the points and when you are joining your armhole make sure that your ruler touches the points that's the shoulder the point the midpoint and then the chest line now i'm taking my boss pan this pattern paper i'm using for the back was not big enough to give room for allowance at the bottom that is for the joining after the half length so i have the actual half length of 13 inches but i'll be adding my allowance when i'm cutting on the fabric so right now i'm just joining the boss pan measurement i'll extend it to the chest line on the waistline i'll be taking half inch on both sides like i did in the front now i'm just extending my boss span measurement up to the chest line and creating my darts from the chest line down to the waistline next i'll be taking the bust measurement the bust is um, 29 divided by 4 is 7.25 plus one inch allowance then i'll be marking the bust measurements on the chest line then i'll go over to the waistline and take my waist measurements adding my one inch i took out for that then one inch for seam allowance that's eight inches six inches plus one for that then one for seam allowance that's eight inches so now i'm just joining the points together now for the back neckline i'll be taking 2.5 like i did in front that's where my off shoulder will be sitting and from the bust line i went up by one inch and i'm using my french curve now to join the two points together you can choose to alter your back neckline it depends on how you want it but for this one i want it to be low like um boat or canoe whatever they call it but this is how i want the back neckline to be then i went ahead to take out 1.5 inch from the neckline and i'm just joining it using my armhole curve to join it to the chest line for the dart the initial plan was to leave the dart this way but i went ahead i later went ahead to slit the back open that is the dart line now on the waistline i'm going in that is the zipper allowance notes there is no allowance on this pattern i'll be adding my allowance when i'm cutting on the fabric so i went in by, by 0 0.75 and i'm just joining it to the back neckline all the way up the zip allowance will be taken as i'm cutting on the fabric moving on i'll just go ahead and cut out this 
pattern then cut on my fabric this is the fabric we are using and i'll be using it alongside taffeta and cotton lining and the taffeta will serve as a protective layer to the main fabric now i've gone ahead to cut on my fabric and this is the front the i've cut the main fabric the lining and taffeta this is like i said i said i was going to slit the back open and i've done so here at the bottom i left the one inch that was not available when i was drafting the pattern now i'm just taking out my pins so that we start joining the pieces together i'll start by joining my main fabric to the taffeta so i'll be placing the main fabric on the taffeta then i'll stitch round holding them together i'll take my dart on the main fabric then i'll go ahead and take my dart on the lining then turn over so i'll do just that then bring it back and move on to the next step as for the back that i'll just be using the half inch allowance i cut out there to join the back together <laughs> Now to get the accurate sleeve length, I'm just marking what we have on the bodies already. Then I'll minus it from the total of shoulder circumference. So in front now, I'll be checking, minusing my allowance for sewing. I'll be checking it. We have six there. Six times two is twelve. Then at the back, I'll be taking out my zip allowance first before I mark. So what we have there is six point five. So we have 12 in front and 13 at the back. The shoulder circumference is 39. So we'll be needing 7, inch, seven inches on each um, sleeve. So now this is my pattern paper. I'll be drafting out my sleeve here. I'm just marking 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So I'm marking 3.5 there. And the height of the sleeve is 2.5. But here I'll be marking one inch down then i'll use my french curve to join the two points because i don't want the sleeve to come out straight like this i want a curve i want it to have um, um a curve on the side at the top and at the bottom so i'm going down by 2.5 which is the height of the sleeve i'll be using on the other side i'm just marking the 3.5 inches because i'll still be taking out one inch to create the curve at the bottom on the bottom i'm taking 3.5 which is the width of the sleeve so i'm just marking the top to the bottom of the sleeve i'm marking 2.5 the sleeve height 
from the guideline i'm coming down by 2.5 inch as well that's the height of our sleeve and i'll be joining it to the lower line to create the curve at the bottom as well like we did at the top so i'll just cut this out and cut on my fabric i left half inch all round aside the middle that is on fold then i'll go over to my machine i've sewn and i've turned the lining i've also gone ahead to iron it so i'll just be attaching it to my bodies and pay close attention to the way i'll be attaching it one on one side the other on the other side for a neater finish you have to sandwich the sleeve between the lining and the main fabric so I'm, I'm just placing my sleeve front facing to front facing then i'm turning my lining over i'll just turn my lining over sandwiching the sleeve inside then i'll sew along the armhole curve <laughs> So after joining the sleeve and the sides, this is how it looks like on the inside. So we are done with the upper bodies. We are just moving on next to the lower part. Now for the lower part, the front length is 38 minus 13 inches, which is the half length is 25. For the back length, the back length is 48 because it is 10 inches longer than the front length minus 13 inches, which is the half length is 35. The waist the waist circumference is 24 but we are cutting half circle in front half at the back so 24 divided by 2 is 12. the front waist is i'm adding extra 12 inches because i'm gathering it which will give us 24 so i'm using 24 for the front then 14 for the back reason because i added two inches allowance for zip so we we'll have 26 at the back now to get the radius of whatever circumference you need 6.28 for full circle and 3.14 for half circle which is what we'll be doing so for the front we are using 7.6 and the back 8.2 so now i'm just cutting out the front and i'll be moving on to the back which is where you need to pay more attention to now on the back i'm not touching the radius yet i'm just cutting the full back length which is um the length plus the radius of 8.2 so i'm marking it all the way down <laughs> Now, before I mark the back waist radius, I'll be needing the front length of 25 plus the back radius of 8.2. So, 8.2 plus 25, that should give me 
33.2 so from the hem of the flare i'm just marking 33.2 and i'm holding on to that marking then i'll drag it up until it gets to the top the starting point so that will be my starting point from there i'll be marking my radius of 8.2 so i'll mark it all the way to the edge of the flare <laughs> Now I'll be joining my front half circle to the one one piece of the back half circle. So I'm taking the shorter part of the back and I'm joining it to one side of the front. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Taking the shorter part of the back, joining it to the other side of the front. Then I'll weave the edge and hem. So I've woven, I've sewn the sides, I've woven the rough edges. And I'm just going over to my machine to hem by half inch inwards so i don't need to fold in twice because i already weaved the edge <laughs> I went on to stitch round the waistline using the wider stitch length and I'll be pulling the threads gently to make my gathers. <laughs> Now before I join my lining, I'll just be cutting hard net to add to it. So I'll cut my hard net, I'll hem it, then I'll stitch it to the lower part of the bottom flare. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're almost there after attaching my lining this is how the inside looks like so what is left now is to just attach the zipper and close up the opening so i'll do just that i'll attach the zipper then i'll put it on a dress form although i don't have the size for this age the dress form i have is a smaller one but i'll still put it anyway <laughs> we have come to the end of this tutorial if you have any question do well to leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching bye